Psalm 100. This joyful psalm is the only psalm in the collection to bear the title Psalm of Thanksgiving. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. When was the last time you shouted for joy? Captured in my heart and stored in my memory from last year are two short stories. On a sunny summer's day, my small grandson had momentarily lost sight of his family when he suddenly spotted me waving. Shouting his head off with joy and delight, he scooted furiously on his balance bike towards me, threw the bike down and flung his arms up for a hug. The second is this. On entering the hallowed portals of the Theatre of Dreams, I took my seat high up amongst hopeful strangers decked out in red. As the game progressed, the tension was tangible until the ball hit the back of the net, a miraculous occurrence recently. The explosion of spontaneous, joyful noise was accompanied by 70,000 people rising out of their seats, arms in the air, high-fiving those closest, no longer strangers, but delighted compatriots who in those few moments all understood the significance of what they'd experienced. Whilst the writer of Psalm 100, most likely David, didn't know about balance bikes and football, he did know about delighting in the presence of God and encouraging the whole earth to sing joyful, thankful songs, praising and worshipping God for his creation, his goodness, his enduring love and his continuing faithfulness. My small grandson knows he is loved. He knows with whom he belongs. He knows he can trust his family without question and is therefore spontaneously joyful. The red-decked 70,000 riding out of their seats share the experience together with gladness and joyful songs. These are very human reasons for expressions of joy and praise, but not just limited to the experience of small boys and football fans. The psalmist goes beyond expressions of joy and enthusiasm. He exhorts all the earth to worship God with gladness because he is our creator and our shepherd. He is the only one worthy to receive the highest praise as we acknowledge that we know that Lord is indeed God. As we progress through the psalm, the writer pictures the people of God from all the earth entering together through the gates and into the courts of the temple. As God's people approach, the psalmist advises we should do so with thanksgiving, recognising how much God has done for us. The final two verses give three reasons for thanking and praising God. Firstly, he is good. He always does his best for his children. Secondly, his love is enduring. This is a steadfast and everlasting love. And thirdly, God's faithfulness extends to all generations. He has never broken a promise. He is always reliable and always will be reliable. So when will be the next time you shout for joy? The Red Deck 70,000 shared their common experience together. For the best reason, the psalmist said, shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Do you know that God loves you? The psalmist said, God's love endures forever. Do you know with whom you belong? The psalmist said, God made us and we are his people. We are his, the sheep of his pasture. Do you know that you can trust God without question? The psalmist said, God's faithfulness continues throughout all generations. God loves you. We belong to him and he can always be trusted. Amen.